Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 35 of this WWE 2K17 Did You Know series in which today we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know about WWE 2K17. Did you know there are 2 different variations of the barricade spear depending on your weight class? This one comes from Owen Jones who reveals there's actually 2 variations of the barricade spear. Firstly, there's this one which is the regular version and then additionally there's this one which is unique to super heavyweights. As soon as Big Show burst out of the WWE scene, it didn't take long to see just how devastating a move his chokeslam was. The United States Championship he won at No Mercy in 2003 came after he chokeslammed Eddie Guerrero darn near through the earth. Additionally, one thing you might not know is that you can actually walk straight through the barricade and into the crowd fighting area after you've broken it. Did you know there's hidden Hulk Hogan commentary included in WWE 2K17? This one comes from Romanski03 who reveals that there's a commentary easter egg included in universe mode that references Hulk Hogan despite all the other mentions of Hogan being removed from the game. The commentary happens randomly during 6 man tag team matches at the Survivor Series pay per view in universe mode in which Cole and King talk about the debut of Survivor Series in 1987 when Team Andre took on Team Hogan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Survivor Series, a WWE tradition since 1987. Yeah, and on that first night, Cole, I'll never forget Andre the Giants team defeating Hulk Hogan and his squad in the main event. Staying with the differences between regular superstars and super heavyweights, did you know that super heavyweights also have their own animation when on the outside and grab on a player in the ring? This one comes from Givon Wade who reveals super heavyweights have their own unique animation when grappling players in the ring from ringside in which they'll pull their opponent under the bottom rope and out of the ring. This animation is exclusive to super heavyweights as should you grapple someone else in the ring from ringside with any other kind of superstar then you'll see this regular animation in which they grab their opponent's leg to distract them. Did you know there's actually an animation to jump off the announce table when it doesn't break? Previously in the series we featured certain announced table finishers that didn't actually break the table leaving both players lying on top. Now at the time this appeared to be a glitch in which the table didn't break, however it appears this may not actually be the case as the freaking table reveals that when you play with control help on, when the superstar on the table gets back to their feet, there's actually a prompt to press L1 on Playstation or LB on Xbox to initiate an animation that sees them jump down off the table, meaning 2K actually planned to have players jump down after getting back to their feet, so maybe the table breaking wasn't down to a glitch after all and 2K will once again plan to allow players to climb on and off the announce table. Previously in the series we revealed the preset moveset options in the quick edit option of create a moveset but did you know that there's actually more presets for the series past stars available under the fighting style and taunts type options. Both of these preset categories feature 7 sub categories for aerialist, brawler, giant, powerhouse, showboat, striker and technician with each sub category featuring 4 preset movesets. You can see a full list of these presets on screen along with the superstar that they belong to, with the list including the likes of MVP, Rob Van Dam, Dusty Rhodes, Jeff Hardy and many more past stars who have appeared in the 2K series. So with that, that brings us to the end of today's video but if you've got any lesser known features, secrets, hints or easter eggs that you'd like me to cover, let me know about it in the comments and I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. Also let me know your thoughts in the comments on all of today's features as well as how many you knew and if you enjoyed the video I'd love it if you could drop a like to show your support and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever a new episode is released. As always though, until next time, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.